Ms. Griffin, there, some people say that because we're moving towards mobile, we really don't have to keep a lot of the protections on the books from the 96 Act for the land-based, you know, uh, wireline services. Uh, what are the potential unintended consequences of removing protections uh, that were built into the 1996 Act? Well, I think, first of all, whether it's a mobile call or a landline call, when someone places a phone call, they expect it to work. And a lot of times they're expecting the exact same guarantees they had on the traditional copper network, even if they're making the call via a wireless network. Um, also, wireless networks rely on wireline networks for, backbone, for their backbone service, so we can't ignore wireline just because more people have cell phones. Um, and additionally, 100 million people still have traditional copper-based service, and 85 million of those people have it in addition to another type of voice service, usually wireless. I don't think that's because they like paying two bills. I think that's because they get protections from the landline service they don't get elsewhere.